Hey honey buns and what is up? Today we are going to be making a sleeping bag. So here is what you'll need. You'll need approximately one and a half to two yards of fabric for the outside and the same amount for the inside. So all together four yards. I'm five one and a half. I wanted something that I could get in and pull over my head. So that's why I made it that long. You will also need a long zipper of your choice. I got this one from Amazon. It was so cute. It was a rainbow. I couldn't decide if I wanted pink. And of course you are going to need some scissors and a measuring tape now if you want a little bit of cushion in your sleeping bag you can use a mattress topper but if not just use the yardage of fabric that you have now if you've been here before you already know what i'm gonna say fold your fabric over and cut it the hot dog way so you can get a bang for your buck because if you cut it the hamburger way which is the thickest and widest part you probably will not get that much out of your fabric but this works for me you do what works for you now, after you do that, you're going to measure how long you want it vertically as well as horizontally. So vertically across, I got 32 and a half inches and I wanted to make my length in the sleeping bag approximately 72 inches because this was enough for me. You can make it however long you want to, but those are my measurements. After I finish just cutting off that piece of fabric, which is now going to become scrap fabric, baby, we put that to the side. We don't waste fabric around here. <laughs> now I done cut this fabric. I'm going to cut the inside of my fabric. And the easiest way to do this is literally just placing it on top and cutting it like so. I went ahead and already done that and that's why you can see I folded it over and now I'm going to do the same with the mattress topper. Just making sure everything is literally cut to a T and cut to the same size. Now for the mattress topper, I would advise when it comes to width to cut maybe an inch or two from it and not make it the exact same length because we have to stuff this in the sleeping bag. And when it comes to our zipper, I'm just literally picking out which zipper um little zipper thing to you know zip it up with they're so cute this one got mickey mouse on it i think <laughs> and the other one had a heart so i'm just measuring down how long my sleeping bag is which was 72 inches but the zipper will be a little bit more longer um in length than what i have already cut out just due to the fact it has to go on a curve which i will show you later on after that we are literally just going to double check everything double check your work so as you can see here i'm just placing my zipper on top of the fabric and going around the corner that it has right there as you can see and making sure that my zipper aligns with the length before we get into sewing, we are going to prep our zipper. Now, prepping the zipper, I open it up approximately four to five inches. That's what worked best for me. And I took the slider, which is this thing right here. Oh, yeah, I went with the one that had Mickey Mouse on it. It was so cute. Now, you are literally going to take the tiniest part that you see, which is the smallest part in the front, and it should be face down. And when you look at the slider inside, you'll see like a section where it literally divides so it can have one part on each side. And you're literally going to just put it on there and slide it down. It was a little rustle and tussle for me, but I got it on there. Now that we are done with that, we are going to take our fabric and sew it right sides towards each other. So basically good right sides, the good sides facing each other. In this case, the fleece, the fabric that I use, which is the fleece, which is the pink one, the light pink one, I didn't really need to worry about good sides because both sides look the same, but the furry side, I needed to worry about that. So the way you are going to sew, if you are using a mattress topper, you are gonna sew three sides and leave the lengthiest part open. But if you are not, you are literally going to sew all around and leave a little opening. So here's what I mean. So 
as you can see, I'm using a mattress topper. I'm sewing all the way around. I left a portion open. But if you are not using a mattress topper or anything like that, you do not have to leave a portion this big open. You can literally make a little hole and flip it inside out and then you're done. Now I'm flipping mine inside out because we're getting ready to prep for the mattress topper. And what I'm getting ready to do is to fold it in half so i'm finding the half so just like i cut it hot dog style i'm going to fold it hot dog style and once i fold it that will tell me and show me where the half of my fabric is evenly so i'm showing you right here i found the middle that is where i'm going to be sewing Now that I am done sewing, here is where the middle is. Now, as you can see, I'm getting ready to open everything up so I can put the mattress topper inside, but I'm just showing you guys that the inside is literally connected through the middle. So here I am just putting the mattress topper inside. And after I am done putting the mattress topper inside, then I am going to put on the zipper and that will conclude that. So now the mattress topper is inside. As you can see, I left a little bit of space between so I can get the zipper on. So when you put the zipper on, you are literally just going to sew alongside of it. And you can see me pointing on the other side because you're going to do that for each one. But the difference is because this has no stopper in the beginning, you are going to sew the sleeping bag at top so your slider will not come off of your zipper. So here now, I'm literally just zipping it back up. This is literally how your sleeping bag should come out, honey bun. See you next week on Honey Bun TV. Mwah.